Hey there, Brandon and Westman. Listen up, because this is important. We've got a winter storm warning in effect. That means you need to be prepared for some serious winter weather. This is not a drill. Stay informed and stay safe, everybody. This is the real deal, folks. We're talking heavy snow, strong winds, and icy conditions. It's going to be a wild ride, so buckle up, both literally and figuratively. We want everyone to be safe out there. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay tuned to your local news and weather channels for the latest updates and warnings. And be sure to check in on your neighbors, especially those who might need a little extra help during the storm. Let's all look out for each other, Brandon and Westman. Stay warm, stay safe, and stay positive. We'll get through this together. So what exactly are we dealing with here? Let's break it down step by step. Well, Environment Canada has issued a winter storm warning for our area. This isn't just a light dusting of snow we're talking about. They're the experts, so we need to listen to them. These meteorologists have been studying the patterns and data for days, if not weeks, to bring us the most accurate forecast possible. They're predicting some significant snowfall. This means that our daily routines are likely to be disrupted. We're talking up to, insert expected snowfall amount of snow. Imagine that much snow piling up on your driveway or the streets. And that's not all, folks. The snow is just one part of the equation. Along with all that snow, we can also expect some strong winds. These winds can make the cold feel even more biting and can cause additional hazards. We're talking gusts of up to, insert expected wind speed. These gusts can create whiteout conditions, making it nearly impossible to see. That's enough to knock you off your feet. Literally, you could be pushed over by the force of the wind. So be extra careful out there, especially if you have to venture outside. Walking on icy sidewalks can be treacherous. These conditions are going to make travel extremely difficult, if not impossible. Roads will be covered in snow and ice, making driving hazardous. Visibility will be reduced, and roads will be slippery. This means that even short trips can become dangerous. So please, if you don't have to go anywhere, stay home. It's the safest place to be during a storm like this. It's not worth risking your safety. Remember, safety first. Make sure you have enough supplies at home to last through the storm. Let's all do our part to stay safe during this winter storm. Check on your neighbors, especially the elderly or those who might need extra help. Together, we can get through this. Emergency services are on high alert and snowplows will be working around the clock to keep the roads as clear as possible. But they can't do it alone. Make sure you're prepared. Stock up on essentials like food, water, and medications. Have an emergency kit ready with flashlights, batteries, and blankets. Stay informed. Keep an eye on weather updates and alerts from Environment Canada. Knowledge is power, and staying informed can help you make the best decisions for your safety. And while you're hunkered down at home, take the opportunity to enjoy some quality time with your loved ones. Play games, read books, and make the best of the situation. Remember, the storm will pass. And when it does, we'll come out stronger and more resilient. Stay safe, stay warm, and take care of each other. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. The actual amount of snow we get could vary depending on the temperature. You see, even a small change in temperature can make a big difference in snowfall amounts. It's all about science. If the temperature stays colder, we can expect more snow. But if it warms up even a little bit, we might see more rain or sleet mixed in with the snow. And that can make for some really messy conditions. So the bottom line is, we need to be prepared for anything. Don't assume you know how much snow we're going to get just because you heard it on the news. Keep checking those forecasts and be ready for whatever mother nature throws our way. Remember, it's better to be overprepared than underprepared. Stay safe and stay informed, everyone. Section four, motorists beware hazardous road conditions ahead. Attention all motorists. We are currently experiencing severe winter weather that is making travel extremely dangerous. The roads are covered in snow and ice, and visibility is significantly reduced due to the heavy snowfall and strong winds. This is not a good time to be on the roads. If you can avoid traveling, please do so. The conditions are treacherous, and even experienced drivers are finding it difficult to navigate safely. The combination of heavy snow and strong winds is going to create extremely hazardous driving conditions. Snow is accumulating rapidly, and the wind is causing snowdrifts that can block roads and make it hard to see where you're going. Visibility will be reduced, and roads will be slippery. Ice is forming on the roadways, making it easy to lose control of your vehicle. Black ice, which is nearly invisible, is especially dangerous and can cause sudden skids. Even if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle, 
it's best to stay off the roads during the storm. Four-wheel drive can help with traction, but it doesn't make you invincible. You can still slide on ice and get stuck in deep snow. You don't want to risk getting into an accident. Emergency services are already stretched thin dealing with weather-related incidents, and it may take longer for help to arrive if you get into trouble. And remember, if you do have to go out, give yourself extra time to get where you're going. Plan your route carefully and let someone know your estimated arrival time and route. This way, if something goes wrong, someone will know where to look for you. Drive slowly and carefully and leave plenty of space between you and other vehicles. The stopping distance on icy roads is much longer than on dry pavement, so give yourself extra room to stop safely. And please make sure your headlights are on. This isn't just about seeing the road, it's about being seen by other drivers. In these conditions, visibility is poor, and having your headlights on can make a big difference. It's important to be visible to other drivers, especially in these conditions. Use your low beams to avoid blinding other drivers with the reflection off the snow. Let's all do our part to keep the roads safe during this winter storm. Snow plows and salt trucks are working hard to clear the roads, but it takes time. Be patient and give them space to do their job. Stay home if you can, and if you have to drive, be extra careful. Your safety and the safety of others depend on it. Remember, no trip is worth risking your life. Stay safe, stay warm, and let's get through this storm together. Section 5. Stay put. Non-essential travel not advised. When the weather outside is frightful, it's crucial to heed the warnings and stay safe. Okay folks, let's talk about non-essential travel. This means any trip that isn't absolutely necessary. Think about it. Is it worth braving the elements for something that can wait? And by non-essential, I mean anything that doesn't involve a life or death situation. Emergency services are already stretched thin during severe weather, so let's not add to their burden. So, that trip to the mall to get the latest gadget? Definitely non-essential. The mall will still be there after the storm passes, and so will the gadgets. That coffee date with your bestie? Probably non-essential. You can always catch up over a video call or reschedule for a safer day. The point is, during a winter storm like this, it's best to just stay put. Your safety and the safety of others should be the top priority. There's no need to risk your safety for something that can wait. Roads can be treacherous, and even a short trip can turn dangerous quickly. Think of it this way. You can always reschedule that coffee date, but you can't reschedule your life. It's better to be safe and wait for better conditions. So stay home, get cozy, and maybe catch up on some reading or binge watch your favorite show. This is a great opportunity to relax and enjoy some downtime. This is the perfect excuse to relax and recharge. Take advantage of the time to do things you love indoors. And hey, if you happen to have a snow day from work, even better. Use this unexpected free time to bond with family, play games, or simply unwind. Remember, safety first. Let's all do our part to stay safe and sound during this winter storm. Check on your neighbors, especially the elderly or those who might need extra help. Together, we can weather the storm safely. Make sure you're prepared for the storm, have an emergency kit ready, stock up on essentials, and ensure your home is winter ready. Preparation can make a big difference. Stay informed about the weather conditions. Use weather apps, listen to local news, and follow official advisories. Knowledge is power, and staying updated can help you make better decisions. Embrace the time indoors. Play board games, cook together, or start a new hobby. These moments can create lasting memories and make the storm feel less daunting. And remember, the storm will pass, the sun will shine again, and life will return to normal. Until then, stay safe, stay warm, and take care of each other. After the storm, let's come together as a community. Help each other clear snow, check in on neighbors, and support one another. Together, we can overcome any challenge, reflect on the experience, and feel grateful for your safety. These moments remind us of the importance of community and preparedness. Look forward to better weather and brighter days ahead. Soon, the roads will be clear and life will return to normal. Until then, let's prioritize safety and make the most of our time indoors. Stay safe, everyone. Section 6. Brace yourselves. Temperature plunge expected. Hold on to your hats, Brandon and Westman, because along with all the snow and wind, we're also in for a serious temperature drop. The mercury is expected to plummet to insert expected temperature and stay there for a while. Brr! That's cold enough to freeze the whiskers off a polar bear. So bundle up in layers, folks, and don't forget those hats, gloves, and scarves. We want everyone to stay warm and toasty during this cold snap. 
And remember, it's not just about staying warm outside. You also need to make sure your home is properly heated. Check your furnace and make sure it's working properly. And if you have any drafts, seal them up. Stay warm, everyone. Section 7. La Nina's Grip, a winter of increased snowfall? Now you might be wondering what's causing all this wild winter weather. Well, part of it might be due to a weather phenomenon called La Nina. It's a little complicated, but basically, La Nina is a cooling of the waters in the Pacific Ocean, and it can have a big impact on weather patterns all over the world. For us here in Brandon and Westman, La Nina often means colder than average temperatures and increased snowfall. So buckle up, folks, because this could be a long winter. But hey, at least we're prepared, right? We've got our shovels ready, our winter boots are laced up, and we're stocked up on hot chocolate. Bring on the snow. Stay warm, stay safe, and stay positive, everyone. We'll get through.